blessed day guys and peace be upon you this morning so in this video we're going to learn how to configure dscp server on a cisco sa okay cisco adaptive security appliance firewall so we're going to use this uh firewall to serve as the dscp server for our inside network only okay because we don't control um outside network but we can uh, but we should assign static addresses to dmz devices okay so it's only our inside network that requires um automatic ip address allocation okay also i'll just open our google spreadsheet and let you know that we do a number three under firewall configuration okay all right so i'll just open our notepad again and I let the step that we want to follow to achieve the objectives. So the first step is to configure address ranges to be issued. So for example, we want this firewall to start issuing host our computers address from 102.168.100. Even dot uh, let's say dot 101. Okay, so it's from 101 till let's say to 200. Okay. Or so it should not uh, auto assign any computer address below 101 or above 200 okay or right, so let's just do that just click on the firewall remember it's this topology that we used in this in the previous class so this part two of firewall configuration and I really recommend that you first watch the first part of this video where the topology came from and where we did some basic configuration of the Cisco SA file, right? Before you come to this video, because if you watch the video without watching the previous video, it will not help you. It will only help you when you are a pro or know what we are doing. But to, suppose you are new to a Cisco SA firewall configuration, please watch the previous video. It's only 10 minutes. All right. Okay. So uh, this is the firewall that we named parameter firewall so we just say enable okay and our password was uh gtech gtech one two three and hit enter config t okay then we've said that we configure the range of dcp addresses to be allocated so we just say dcp dcpd this is how we configure DCP server on a firewall. We just say DCPD, then let's just query. Yes, just say address. Address 102.168.100 from 101, okay, to just hyphen without any space 102.168.100.200, okay. Or dot 199 such that uh, only computers will get IP addresses on this range from 101 to 199 okay then we say that should only apply in inside we just query inside remember the inside interface was gig 101 and I also told you that we'll be referencing or be referring to an interface with its name so gig gig one gig one slash one we give it we gave it a name of inside so that's what we use here we just say inside and it uh, tab and you see now and we just enter this is the only command that we use this dscpd address then you give the range that you want the dscp server to allocate to uh clients okay then you specify that this should apply on the inside the inside interface which is gig one one so gig one one you can see it's connected to inside network right all right so when you go back here you can see configure dns server so it's very very important that you configure dns server so we can we just say dscpd then dns server to be let's use the as uh, google server 8.8.8.8 and eat it all right okay so when you go back to our notepad again, enable DCP on, on the firewall interface. So it's very, very important 
although we we said here that this 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 pool okay should be applied on the inside interface but we've not enabled dcp on that interface so we just say dcpd enable uh -huh, query yes inside the inside interface uh -huh, inside inside interface yes and you just hit enter and finally you can see here this enable adcp on computers exit i mean just write memory save how to save in the firewall just write memory and that's all so we can just say show start so we just want to see the pool you can see it's here okay we have the uh, dna server is, is here then the pool is here dcpd address start giving ip address from 101 to 199 then use the inside interface which is gigs 11 okay this one one then enable dcp on this interface all right all right so if you can just go here to these computers and I do it very very fast save time you will see they will pick uh dcp i mean ip address you see just wait see they have picked ip address as we said that start giving from 100 100 100.101 so you see the first ip address is 101 okay all right so i'll do the rest very very fast all right so we then uh this enabling uh dcp on the computer so if i can just super you can see that one has took uh, has taken uh 102 103 104 and 105 so basically you can just try to ping our default gateway remember the default gateway is the ip address of the the firewall here the connecting interface which is gig 11 so gig 11 you can see it's um 100.1 so we just try to ping 100.1 it should ping because uh it's the acting default gateway of these computers okay all right so configuring dcp server on a firewall is the easiest thing uh 192.168.100.1 okay so you can see it's pinging all right so that's how to configure dcp server on a firewall the most easiest thing the most process of dcp server configuration i have ever involved so you just have to give that address range the pool then specify the dns server and enable dcp server on the required interface okay all right so basically i uh, think we're done configuring dcp server so i'll mark that section as done right okay so when we text let's learn how to configure uh firewall routing both static and ospf so basically uh please subscribe to this channel like this video share with friends and drop a comment below in case you have any doubts you have any question or any suggestion bye and see you again in the next video thank you